know, Judy, here in the Northwest, every spring we have, we still get cold, wet oh, weather. Oh, for sure. And you don't want to go outside and work in that in your garden, but yet you're still just itching to get out there in the yard. It's a great opportunity to do some seed starting right in your house. Yeah, you don't need a greenhouse for this, really. You can use your house. It's very easy. It's true. Now, the first thing you want to do is be sure that you get a really good soil. We're using the Black Gold it's Seed nice. Starting Mix. Now, the reason you're getting a seed starting mix is because it really is a great mixture of things that help seeds do what they're supposed to do, which is grow. They don't have any weeds in them, weed mm -hmm, seeds in them, clean. which you'll get if you use garden soil, so don't do that. Plus, they're specially formulated to uh, be able to drain, but still have just the right amount of moisture that that seed needs to germinate. Yeah, no, it's really the best thing that you want to do. So also, don't forget, there's all kinds of containers for growing sure. seeds in. We're using some four inch containers here. Mm -hmm. We also have this thing here. A plug tray, there's all different shapes of plug trays. You can use the little Jiffy Pops. And you know, I even used an egg crate one time. Yeah, so you know, anything that just holds the seed and the soil together. After you get the soil in, you put just a light spraying of water and you mist it on. And the reason, Judy, that you mist it is because if you try to pour it on, Ooh, once those seeds mess. are in there, it just washes them away and it really disturbs them. But a light misting does a much better job and it won't wash them or disturb the seeds. Yeah, that's much easier. And you know, um, we really like to use New Dimension seeds or any of the seeds that are at the independent garden centers because there's so much variety out there. You know, independent garden centers have so many starts out there, but there's always that one that you can't find, but you know you have the seed. And we really like this cucumber, and so we're going to show you this one. And so these seeds are pretty big. I mean, not all the seeds are going to be this big, but cucumber seeds are large. And because we're kind of direct sowing right into these pots, we're just going to use one seed per pot. Um, if you're going to do this outside, you probably use two or three or four. Um, but you know, the slugs aren't going to be attacking these little babies. So we're just going to put one, then we can plant lots of cucumbers this year. And a lot of the seed packages, Judy, actually tell you, you know, how deep to go down oh, and all of that information on the back of them. With cucumber seeds, it's just a just barely putting them into the ground in a little covering of a soil. A little bit on there. And so you want to come right behind me and you can start misting. Yeah, and once they're in the ground and you've covered them, again, you just give them a nice little mist in the soil. And this is probably the best time to label them. <laughs> oh, look at I got my label with a date so that I know. Yeah, you don't want to lose what you planted because then it's going to be a garden surprise. Now, the ones that we have over here, Judy, have been planted about three weeks. They've okay. already got a, a good set of growth on them. Mm -hmm. They do get a nice window that gets a lot of light. Very much. And we turn them twice a day because that keeps them growing straight. If you don't, you get a real lean to them. And before you put them outside, you want to make sure they get their second set of true leaves. This first one is called a primary, and then the second set is going to be the true leaves. So then you know that that plant has really got a lot of energy to be able to withstand the weather outside. And after that second set of leaves is ready to go, those plants are ready to go outside. You really need to look at what kind of plants you have. These are all warm season, so we're really not going to put them out until after the first part of May. But if it's a more cool crop, you can put it out right after like the mid of April or so because it's our last last average day of frost right here in the valley. Now listen, there's, it seems like there's a lot that you need to know about doing this, but the best place you can go is any of your favorite local independent garden centers. They'll have the supplies, mm -hmm. they'll have the seeds, and they'll certainly have the knowledge to help you out. Well, we hope that you take all these great tips and start some seeds today.